During this video, we will be covering how to use a shopping cart in Ginger to process transactions. You can process transactions and collect payment in Ginger for a wide variety of things that you might offer at your business, including reservations, services, packages, retail items, and open line items. Let's add Teddy and Almanac's reservations to the shopping cart to begin. You can see that by adding Teddy reservation to the cart, Ginger has alerted me that the pet parent has a reservation for another pet checked in as well. I can click to add both reservations to the cart, or I can dismiss the message to just add Teddy's reservation. For this video, we will go ahead and add both animals' reservations to the shopping cart. Ginger will give us a success message to let us know that each reservation has been added to the cart. We can click that message to view the reservations in the shopping cart, or we can click the cart icon in the top menu navigation. You will always be able to jump at the cart from the top menu navigation. Now that we are in the cart, let's review the different aspects of the cart that we can see here. At the top of the cart, we have the ability to pay off any open invoice balances, buy store credit for the customer's account, add retail items and packages, add open line items, and apply coupons to the entire cart. Below these items, we can see three options in the shopping cart header related to custom icons, printing, and clearing the cart. We can toggle custom icons to display or hide in the cart. This is a great option if you need to show your screen to a customer and want to hide your custom icons from display. You can click the print icon to print the contents of the cart. Lastly, you can click the trash icon to clear the contents of the cart. Below the shopping cart header, you will have the actual contents or line items of the shopping cart. Here you can see that the reservations are listed that we added earlier. With the line items of the cart, we have several different things that we can see and do. Going from left to right, we can see the following items. The X icon allows us to remove a line item from the cart. If we remove a reservation, it will remove any services and retail items associated with that reservation as well. The ticket icon will allow us to apply a coupon to that specific line item. For reservations, it will also allow us to apply a package credit. The down icon allows us to expand the charge details of the line item. For reservations, this will allow us to view the owner, animal, or reservation details pages, the reservation dates, charges, and any pricing rules that are affecting the cost of the reservation. To the right of these actions will be the description of the line item, followed by the quantity, unit price, and subtotal. It is important to note that the quantity of reservations and services cannot be changed in the shopping cart. Furthermore, only the unit prices of services can be manually changed in the unit price field. This is a great feature for adjusting the standard price of services whose cost might vary depending on the animal, like grooming services. If you need to discount or comp something in the shopping cart, then we always recommend you applying a coupon. Below the line items, we will see the charge totals including any tax that is also being charged. Lastly, we have our options to check out either with payment or without payment. We'll cover these with an example in just a moment. But first, let's set up our example. I'm checking out this pet parent's two reservations. In this example, the customer wants to pick up a squeaky toy and a new pack of treats that we just got in but don't have in our inventory yet. I also need to give our customer a loyalty discount of 10% on the transaction and I need to comp our grooming service. Before we start, it's important to note that we could pay off any amount of open invoices or buy store credit using the options in the top left section of the shopping cart. First, let's add the squeaky toy to the sale. We'll do this either by scanning the barcode here or clicking the browse retail button here and then selecting the squeaky toy from the list. 
For the new bag of treats, we will need to use an open line item since the item has not yet been added to our ginger inventory list. To add an open line item to the shopping cart, we will select the type of open line item that we want from the list, enter a description, enter an amount, and then click the Add to Cart button to add it to the line item list below. Now that we have all of the contents of our cart ready to go, let's apply our 10% loyalty discount. Since this discount applies to the entire purchase, it is easiest to apply the coupon to the entire cart from the top of the page. To do this, we will simply select the coupon from the list. We can now see that the price of every item has been modified. Next, we need to comp Teddy's grooming service. So first, let's remove the 10% loyalty discount coupon that we just applied from this specific line item. We do this so that we do not apply two coupons to a single line item. To remove this coupon, we will click the arrow icon to view the charge details for the grooming service. Then we will click the X icon next to the coupon's name to remove it. Now that that coupon has been removed, we can add another coupon to the specific line item by clicking the ticket icon and selecting the 100% comp coupon from the list. We can now see that the total has been readjusted and the total due in the cart has been updated. We always recommend using a coupon to comp something from a customer if possible. Checking out will finalize the charges for the customer and create an invoice. So, it's important to pause and ensure that we are charging the customer correctly for everything in the cart. Everything looks good here, so now we can finalize the checkout. To do this, we have two options. We can check out with no payment, which will create an invoice that is open and requiring action, or we can check out with payments, where we can pay for all or some of the amount due with one or more payment methods. If we pay for the entire cost of the charges today, then it will close the invoice and no further action will be required. Let's go ahead and check out with payment. In this case, the customer wants to pay $35 in cash and then put the rest on their credit card. We'll begin by clicking the checkout with payment button. We will enter in the cash payment first. To do this, we will select the cash payment method from the list. And in this example, the customer has handed us $40 in cash, but only wants to pay $35. We can open the change calculator in Ginger by clicking the calculator icon. With the change calculator, we can enter the tendered amount and the payment amount. Ginger will then show you the change due to the customer below. We can see now at the bottom of the window that there's still an amount due. To pay the remainder off with a credit card, we will click the Add Payment Method button. We can now select credit card as our second payment method. With Ginger's integrated credit card processing, we will be prompted to select a terminal to push the transaction to. Let's select a terminal and watch the workflow from Ginger as the customer follows the prompts on the terminal. We can see which step that the customer is at throughout the entire process. It is important to note that if the charge is approved by the customer's bank, then the charge will be processed and immediately applied to the invoice. Once the customer has completed the process on the terminal, we can click Continue to complete checkout. After clicking Continue, Ginger will take us to a Checkout Complete window. From this window, we can see the details of the invoice including how much was charged and how much is still due. From here, we can view the invoice, print a receipt from our receipt printer, or manually email the invoice to the customer. If you have the new invoice email setting turned on, then the customer will automatically be emailed a copy of the invoice. If you have print notes set up in Ginger, then you will see a list of available receipt printers and cash drawers listed below as well. 
That's an overview of using the shopping cart in Ginger. For additional details, I encourage you to explore the Using the Shopping Cart article on our support site or reaching out to our support team.